channel if you're new here welcome my name's kim i'm a mum of two boys and i live here in the northwest with them and my husband i love everything seasonal decorating parties events occasions and just general making my home that little bit exciting whether it be for valentine's day christmas halloween st patrick's day valentine's day easter whether it's whatever it is i will bring a little something into our home just to emphasize or just to give it a little bit of um funness around the house so if that's what you like to please subscribe to my little channel i um have been missing in action for roughly about six months now i've not posted for about five or six months due to what happened back end of last year i to cut a long story short i was diagnosed with uh, ulcerative colitis which for those who don't know is a irritable bowel disease um that I was actually diagnosed when I was 11 and I've been pretty much battling that right up until now in my late 30s but um, I've been pretty okay over the years I've had some pretty major surgeries a lot of biologics and medications and different things like that but I had a good run and I've been okay for a good couple of years but unfortunately last year we had a bit of a um, an incident and ended up really really poorly and ended up in hospital um, I've had six months off work, six months off here and I'm ready now to get back. I'm feeling loads better and I've been well looked after but I'm back to get back to doing what I love and decorating the house again and I thought well what is a better time than spring? Spring is a time of new beginnings, baby chicks, baby bunnies, daffodils, flowers, everything begins to grow again so I thought it was a really good really good time to start back with my channel again while I'm now back at work so yeah, this is um, my welcome back or I'm back video for you guys and I've got a teeny tiny little haul from Sheen. Now, I lit it's the tea it can't even be called a haul, it is that tiny. It's like five things that I popped in my basket when I had a little browse of the week um, and they are primarily Easter things. Now, the next video that you'll see will be just spring. Obviously, um, Easter is around the corner, but I want to get some spring... Um, accessories and things like that for the house i do not have a spring wreath i've had one for years and years and years and it broke last year it was all rusty all weathered and it needed throwing away so i don't have a spring wreath i've got an easter wreath which will be up for easter weekend but i don't have a spring wreath to then alternate from before and after so i really want to find one of them um in my next trip so i'm either going to go to well it'll probably be home bargains b m the likes of um, Home Sense we'll be walking, we'll be going to as well. TK Maxx, I'm going to have a look in Tesco and Asda as well, just to have a look at the different spring things that they've got in. Um, like I said, there's I know there's a few, especially Home Bargains, have got a load of um, Easter things in, but I want to see if there's anything that can be used for spring and not primarily just carrots and rabbits and things like that for Easter. So I'm going to have a good look. Um, to see what we can decorate for spring, whether it be just some daffodils, some fake daffodils, or some real daffodils, or just something that is very spring like, whether it be a print or something like that to bring into the house. So I'm definitely on the lookout for that. But first, like I said, I know I said I was looking at spring things first, but these are Easter bits, and I've literally got the tiniest little things that we've got. So now, the way we decorate outside at the minute for Easter is I have a Easter wreath that goes on the front door, which I will show you a lot when I decorate. And I have some Easter egg, like pastel-y coloured Easter picks, if you call them, that can stick into shrubbery and topiary. So they'll stick into the things that go either side of our door. So I've already got them. I have a stake that goes in the ground that's set in the shape of a bunny ear and it says, Easter bunny, please stop here. So we've got that for the little one. But I've been seeing a lot, especially in the American houses and on their videos, that they've got, what are they called, lawn flags. So I've seen a few of them for Christmas and things like that, especially for Halloween. So I've seen this Easter one and it says Happy Easter with a cute little grey bunny rabbit on and she's got a little flower crown. Now the only thing is, it's got obviously a little, a little hole here at the top where the pole goes into and i didn't know the pole came separately at all so it's only now i've looked back that it does actually state that the pole is sold separately and they're not expensive they're about five pound but at least then i only need to buy the one pole and i can interchange flags if i need to but for now we've just got the flag and i will be buying the stakes so when that comes i will show you and then i'll show you this on it as well 
it's literally two little stakes they stick into the ground and then obviously the flag is it's not that big so that just sticks up in into the ground and yeah that's a very sweet little addition that i thought i've not seen it. it's really inexpensive it's a couple of pounds i will put on the prices um as well of what i bought on the screen as well so the next thing i bought is it's very, and I actually thought it was bigger than this, but it's really, really small. It's a tiny carrot garland, you can see. So, little tiny carrot garland. It's got a burlap rope attached to it, and it's got little daisies in it as well. It's very, very small. I'm literally going to drape it um, in the front of our fireplace, but I've got nothing carrot-like or anything like that. So, and I've got, I think I've only got one Easter garland and it literally just happy happy Easter on which goes in the back one so I thought that'd be really sweet it's made of felt um and I can use it can just come out year after year it won't need to be thrown away like the paper ones that get damaged so I thought that was a cute little bag only a couple of pounds as well so I picked up one of them now oh, the um other thing I bought is I bought some picks or some stems to go into a vase that I've got in the front living room now I've got three of these now they are, they've got little buds on the green, green stems with little buds and they've got green eggs on as well. You can see the little speckles on that are just like um, Easter eggs. So I've got four of them, no I didn't, I've got three of them. So they're going to go in one of my little vases. Just a little touch, it's got loads of spring buds on and little Easter eggs. So it's just a little touch so I don't know whether I will add that to my original um piece that i've already got in there or then i'll just have the three i probably will just add it to my original um flower arrangement just to give it a little essence of easter because i think the three might be a bit bare but we'll see how it looks anyway so i've got three of them so i've got three of them and then these are really sweet and they're really inexpensive as well um so i didn't have any easter cushions now that sounds really extra i didn't have easter cushions but I do like to um, change my cushions when it comes to the seasons, whether it be Halloween or Christmas or um, even like autumn and things like that when I decorate for autumn. So as soon as I've seen these, I thought they were really sweet. So um, they will be used year after year. They will not, they'll be on rotation. They will not be used this year and then binned off and more, more will be used. These will be in. They're really good quality. They're like a burlap. So they're really quite strong um but yeah so you've got four in the pack and it's got a sweet little bunny on with little i think it's mm, i don't really know but they've got a little little green looks a bit like eucalyptus but i'm not sure whether it is or not so that's that one so it's a cute little bunny just on his own with eucalyptus on and then the next one is similar but we've got three on so we've got three little bunny rabbits and again with the back of eucalyptus or whatever foliage that is so you can see they've got cute little eyes little lashes so we've got one of them and they're quite they're quite wide as well they're not small and then these are my favorite these are a sage green and this one says hello spring so that can be kept with well can that can be kept up for spring as well not necessarily easter so that's a really nice color as well and it matches my decor in the back living room which is a green color so that's really nice and then this one says happy easter to match the sage colour so I thought that was really sweet so yeah they're just nice nice little touches they're not overly um garish with big massive colours on or big massive easter eggs on or anything like that I thought it's got nice little touches of spring and sage green in there and the burlap and the, yeah so they're not very over the top so I thought they were really sweet and that is literally all I bought when I, when I went on Sheen the other day so yeah, but I will be looking at all the Easter stuff and the spring things in the upcoming weeks and I'll get them all up on my next videos. But yeah, um, thanks for listening and I will see you in the next one. And I'm back. <laughs> Take care. Bye.